Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film these three videos a week on my YouTube channel. And this one is called Mirror Mirror because it is all about relationships, which is like the key to life. And for today's video, I thought I would touch on something that so many of us want to uncover and want to find, which is a soulmate and the one. And I'm here to tell you the truth about soulmates because it kind of seems like we're just gonna meet this perfect person, they're gonna be the one for us for the rest of our lives, and that is it. But what I've kind of come to understand now is that our friends are our soulmates, our family can be our soulmates, like it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. And that's not to say that you won't meet the right person for you for the rest of your life, but that we don't need to be so restrictive and stuck on this idea of meeting the perfect person because then we create this like illusion of and like idealism. We create this whole fantasy and we put the person on a pedestal of what they're supposed to be like and who we want them to be and how they'll meet our needs in the most perfect way. And then we literally go about our lives trying to find this person, trying to put this fantasy onto somebody and mold them into becoming it and that cannot happen like that just will not happen because that fantasy is a fake person that you've just created in your mind it's literally like a deity or a god or a spirit that you've created with your imagination and that doesn't mean that you're going to find somebody that's the exact clone or replica of that deity or fantasy that you've just created you know so we can fall down like a toxic path of really wanting to find the one and we cling to this idea but really there's so many people that we meet that could be a soulmate because I feel like a soulmate is somebody that really teaches you something that you connect with and they're like an aspect of you somebody that you feel at home with like it feels like it's yourself, but in an energetic sense, because they're a part of your soul. Maybe you share the same soul, like a part of a soul group and a soul family. And our soul can literally fractalize into so many pieces or so many parts that it doesn't just mean it's gonna be two people, it could be many. So, I don't know, I just kind of feel like the mentality that we're gonna find this perfect person kind of puts us in a bit of a delusion. And I've done this myself too. And we're not like paying attention to who's around us and who we could meet that could actually be a soulmate kind of relationship. But that doesn't mean that it's gonna last for the rest of this lifetime, you know? But at, at the same time, like we're not separate. So they're still a part of you infinitely forever and they're never going to leave because it's a part of you and I really feel like it's important to see people as a part of ourselves when we have connections with them no matter what kind of relationship it is because then like that brings us back to oneness and so then you treat people respectfully because you know that and you understand that if you hurt them then you hurt yourself you know so I just think that there's a bit of a toxic mentality around the one and soulmates and stuff, as if we're gonna find this perfection God person when that's not actually the case. And everyone that we meet along our journey is there for a reason and is playing a, a certain type of role to teach us a certain thing. So it could be somebody that literally is horrific and that could be a soul connection and a soul mate to where you've got these soul agreements and they've taught you something really important and helped kind of direct you along your path into the next step and the next chapter of your life. But maybe they're not coming with you and it's not somebody that you're gonna keep in your life, but that doesn't mean that they're not part of your soul group and not a soul mate, you know? So it doesn't mean that it's gonna be somebody that's gonna stay with you forever and through this whole lifetime. It could. It could just be somebody that's there to teach you something. And then you could move on to the next relationship and that could also be a soulmate. Like you could have many because it's a part of our soul group and that can fractalize into many parts. So I think it's really important to let go of this idea of like the perfect person and it just being one person and actually open ourselves up to the possibility of having 
many connections throughout our lives because we are here for like 80, 90, 100 years and you could have many connections throughout that time and then maybe when you're at a certain age or a certain point in your life maybe then you do meet somebody and you're with them for the rest of this lifetime but we don't know if that's going to happen or not and I feel like by setting our mind onto that one thing, we close ourselves off to all of the other opportunities that are out there because we do have free will and we can choose certain things. I mean, we can choose everything and anything. So yeah, I think it's important to kind of open our hearts and open our minds to all of the potentials and possibilities. And that way we actually will pay attention to the lesson when somebody does come into our lives, we'll actually be looking for the lesson and looking for the opportunity and looking for all of the ways that we can better ourselves through that mirror of having that connection you know rather than just creating this fantasy in our head and then really hoping that somebody will come and meet that when the chances of that I'm not saying that it's not possible because anything is possible but like you've literally just created that person like that person does exist but it's in your mind and it doesn't mean that the people in your physical reality are going to be that or be a, a match to that you know and I also feel like because we do have free will and because we are on a path of remembering like if you're actively seeking to understand yourself and to integrate the lessons as they come and to elevate your vibration and stuff, if you're actually doing that work, then chances are you could skip past a, a soulmate type of connection because you've already learned that lesson and you don't need to have a connection with them in order to learn it because you've already learned it yourself anyway through whatever else that you were doing. So maybe you kind of move past a potential timeline that you could have gone on where you had a connection with somebody and you learned some type of lesson maybe you skip past that because you've already learned the lesson in yourself through other experiences so now you don't need to have that soul contract anymore and you've chosen to terminate that one and go in a different direction to another one that's there you know because there's infinite timelines infinite potentials and infinite contracts that we could have in different directions and we don't have to learn the hard way anymore so like you could have had a potential toxic relationship that you could have got in but because you've already integrated whatever aspect of yourself that felt drawn to that maybe now you choose consciously to not go near a person like that and you go in a different direction you know so this is why I really feel like just getting to know yourself and having self-awareness is so key because now you can choose which people you allow to be in your space and allow to be around you and maybe you'll cut off certain agreements and contracts in the process that no longer benefit you because you're now consciously aware of the fact that they don't benefit you anymore you've elevated past it and you're ready to let it go so I hope this video explained a little bit more on my perspective of soulmates and the one and maybe it resonated with you and definitely leave a comment below if you have any more questions or if there's any video topics that you want me to talk about anything that you're going through then you can always DM me on Instagram you can text me or you can comment below whichever works best for you but all my social media and my phone number and everything will be in the description box below as well as my links to music and my website and everything about me so i will leave that in the description box below and yes i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye oh yeah think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah think you might i'm the thing you like in my range all white Think he might, I'm the thing he like, pick my range, oh I